All right, what's up guys? So we are back from guiding. Um, I've pretty much got this evening and tomorrow, all day tomorrow for my, my personal archery tag. After tomorrow, the season closed and we wait till muzzle loader. So we are heading out to see if we can turn up a deer tonight and pretty much just plan on checking some country to uh, that guy's to figure out while well, I'm waiting for this car right like, here. Yeah, we're doing YouTube, sir. To decide <laughs> to decide on. Uh... Anyway, sorry guys. Yeah, so we're gonna decide what we're gonna do tomorrow by going scouting tonight. So who knows? We might kill a deer. See you in a bit. Hi, good morning guys. Here we go, last day of Utah, Southern Utah's archery deer hunt. And uh, I've been gone for 20 something days guiding, so I haven't got much time. As you guys have seen, I've, I've pretty much shared every episode on this deer hunt for me. So last day, we're gonna give her hell and uh, see if we can- See if we can drum up a deer. Drum up a deer, a good deer. I'm not gonna shoot just anything, but on top of it, uh, I'm hoping we can get a couple stocks put in today, so at least, and then get an we arrow. We saw fun. a lot of deer last night. I bet we. Yeah, did. we saw a lot of deer, but we need to see a big deer. We saw a lot of little deer too. So, yeah. Here we go. We got a good wind, which I love for our tree spotting stocks. So here we go. See you guys in a bit. Looks like it's cold out here. <laughs> it is. With the wind, it's a little chilly. I got a jacket for when I stop the glass. But hiking? Whew. Sweating like, you know. All right, guys. Just below me, I just watched this kayak go into this oak brush. I don't know where Britt went. But I watched this guy go into the soak brush and just got chased out by a doe. She's running around chasing him right now. So while they're occupied, I'm going to see if I can sneak down and maybe put an arrow in this guy. Yeah. Lots of deer, just nothing mature. Big stuff is moving on. Yeah. And that coyote, that doe ran that coyote out of the country. She didn't stop, man. It was like, she's four draws over. Did you get it's still chasing him. No, oh. they were too far. I glassed it up, and uh, I was gonna try to work in closer, but that doe wasn't having it. She's like, "You're, you're, you're gonna die." Cool. They, they must have had some type of feud going or something. Have you shot one with a bow before? Coyote. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So we're gonna change spots and hopefully find a deer. Today's the last day. And uh, I'm not I'm not just gonna shoot anything. So to kind of explain this tag to you guys that don't know that aren't from Utah, I have dedicated hunter is what it's called, and this is my first year in it. It's a three-year program, and the way it breaks down is I get to hunt the muzz the archery, the muzzleloader, the early rifle, and the late rifle all in Pine Valley, the Pine Valley unit. So. Um, I, I get that for three years, but I can only kill two deer in three years. So if I kill on the archery, then I'm done hunting. If I kill on the muzzleloader, then I'm done hunting for that year. And then the next year, if I kill again, then the third year, I pretty much, I just don't get to hunt. So being my first year, I'm, I'm not going to shoot just anything. Yeah, I, um, be a more picky this year. I was more, I was going to kind of lower the standards with the bow. Britt's got a tag, Brinley's got a tag, and I'm, I'm book solid guiding, but now the way it's sitting, it's gonna have to be a big deer, so. Chase's got a tag too. Oh yeah, and Chase's got an elk tag, so. It's gonna be a busy year. Plus I got, I wanna do AZ, OTC this year, and then next year plus Mexico Coos, so. Yes sir. We are going to, uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna move and go across some new country and see if we can find something big. See you guys in a bit. All right, so just walking off the mountain, and there's a little broke head. 
Pretty cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And about five minutes later, there is another one right there, another broke one. Pretty cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Morning. It is 4.44 in the morning, and we are taking Friendly out for the Utah muzzleloader uh, mule deer hunt. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. I'm excited. We've been doing a lot of scouting. We got a few hit list bucks, and, uh, yeah, everyone's in a good mood. Let's hope we all stay that way. Assuming, uh, still hoping and praying nobody's in our spot already. Our spot we have picked out, not our spot. Nobody's there. So It's fine. We were there yesterday. Nobody was there. <laughs> we're fine. Okay. So, nah, yeah. That's See what we're you guys doing. in a bit. Bye. to uh, swoop around down through here this this little basin and uh, there's another one now I got three 
and I'm not even shed hunting. Thank you, 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 thank you. Well, Brinley's uh, hunting video is turning into a shed hunting video. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Heck yeah. <laughs> that is a good way to make me happy. Heck yeah, man. Now I'm not going to want to go home. What's up guys? We are on the second half of Brindley's muzzleloader hunt and uh, we've seen lots of deer today. It's been awesome. Um, Josh had her in on a stock on five different bucks but they snuck out from underneath them so we're hoping to relocate them and get one of them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Brindley, what are you doing? Don't hit that bush! I'm gonna fall! <laughs> Whoa! Make sure you grab her by your hair at least. Don't hit a bush! <laughs> <laughs> rub you off. How are we gonna find any deer like this? Day four, um, muzzle loader. Yep, day four down. And the hurricane that is supposed to be hitting the west coast hit uh, <laughs> southern Utah today. We're getting the first gusts. Yeah, it was wild. Like, my eyes, they are so, they're so full of dirt and they're just burning. It's really hard to glass when the winds are 40, 50 miles per hour. But we still did it. We hung in there and uh, we hiked to a new place today, which um, I want to try to get back to. Yeah, we will. I got to stay home tomorrow because I got some work to get done. I got some stuff to do around the house and whatnot. So get ready for next week. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a quick season because next weekend we got the elk hunt starting. Yep, Saturday next. For Chase, today is Saturday, so. Saturday, so seven days from now, the elk. And this hunt it. ends Thursday. Yeah. And Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I think they're calling for like an 80% chance of rain because that the hurricane, the hurricane that's kind of blowing towards the west coast is supposed to, we'll be getting that, basically, the edges of that, so. So, that hopefully is the, the rain, end. Oh, sorry. I was going to okay. say, so hopefully the I rain understand. helps out, though. I'm, I'm Fingers crossed that the rain will kind of, it's been dry, it's been hot, it's been dusty, it's just been miserable. So with the rain coming, hopefully that's going to help. Yeah, and like during the day when you have nothing to do but take a nap, yeah. it's 90 degrees. It's so be able hot. to hunt 
throughout the day a little bit more. Yep, that's so. that's how the day went. It was a fun day. We experienced some new things and checked out some new stuff. Yep, we were hunting. Yeah. The end. Thanks we'll see you for guys everything, next time. guys. Yes, thank you guys so much for um, tuning in and watching our uh, little adventures and whatnot. My favorite boots. Probably the best boots that I've worn for me in the past couple of years. Okay. Like Dell? I'm just getting a random B-roll. I have no idea. All right, we've made it back to the truck and Josh is on the phone. Still in my drink. What up? <laughs> we just finished a nice, wet day out here on the muzzle loader. We got one more day left and we did not turn him up today. He's laying low. Who knows where he's at. Fingers are crossed we'll find him tomorrow. Tomorrow's last day. If not, we got Saturday starts Chaden's elk tag mm -hmm. and then on the 10th um, the early rifle starts. And so we have the possibility of coming back and still killing him then. Killing him then. So let's hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed we can get him killed tomorrow. So yeah, we can that's focus the on most, yeah. other tags on the early rifle. Exactly. But we're on our way home now. Yep. So thanks for everything, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya. All right, guys. I have uh, a new guest with me. I met up with snow and we're moving spots and as we we're driving in way down low I thought I saw what looked like a butt of a deer and snow jumped out and he was doing a little glass and I was checking on it and glass is up a shed we we'll run up here real quick and grab it Heck yeah. Nice. Sweet. That'll work. Not even shed hunting. It'd be a good start to the hunt. Oh yeah. Alright. Now we're gonna go back down to the truck and uh, get back on the road where we're going. So we can start hunting. Hey Bren. <laughs> Why are you back here? You're gonna be sitting out on that point where it's cold. You're gonna want it. It's windy.
it weighs like her bag's like five pounds. Maybe five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it's so heavy. <laughs> All right, let's get this. I want you to text me every time you glass up a deer. <laughs> okay. Not every time mom glasses. Yeah, we're going on the opposite. Uh, have you listened to anything we said? You and, mom are getting on <laughs> you and mom are getting on that. Come a little bit further up. <laughs> Thanks. You can lecture me. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys can be in the same frame. If you go too far over, I can't video anymore. Wait, what's your before hunting picture? It's so hard because I'm so zoomed in. You should be able to zoom out now. We got trees. Yeah, but I can still see through those trees right there. You guys can't know where we're hunting. <laughs> this is top secret. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So I'm all ready for the day. I have my binoculars, my pack, and the most important thing of your hunting season. <laughs> this is the like cookies. The co <laughs> oh, where's wait, your tops, wait, Napoleon? Wait. <laughs> Got my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's in my pants? Part two. <laughs> in these pants. I got some healing crystals and three packs of gum. <laughs> like, you really need three packs of gum? Yeah. I mean, three sticks of gum. Yes. That's a lot of gum. That's using. Thanks for watching What's in My Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> that actually was pretty funny. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just got my lashes done, you guys. So let's hope we can get this deer killed so they don't get any more dirtier than they are right now. Seriously. Because <laughs> you pay a lot for those. <laughs> I do. Full sight lashes. Mm -hmm. Joshua actually needs some. Alright. Well. Looks like you have blue mascara. No, I don't. Sorry. Look at how awkward they are. How are we awkward? Y'all are just standing like this. Alright. Whatever. We're getting ready to go. I'm gonna jack you up so bad. <laughs> Get out of my face. Go Wait, your do your YouTube goodbye with the hand. Bye guys. She's making fun of me. Cause I take a wooden stick with me. And the rocky stuff so I don't keep my balance. She's making fun of me. What a jerk. I hope you fall on the rocks. I just, I just copy my mom. That's how the smart people do it. You'll see. I'm gonna be a lot faster than you. What are you doing? I'm glassing. What are you doing? Vision e glassing.
walking. You got it? All right, wait till he stops. Right underneath him. He's headed over. He's he's Okay, he's out of sight. He's out of sight. He dropped down that back. <laughs> 